Welcome back to Deal Unboxing, and today we're going to review Lenovo's new IdeaPad 5 laptop. With AMD's 3rd Gen Ryzen 7 8-core processor, we finally have AMD's 3rd Gen Ryzen mobile processors available for laptops. So in this in-depth review, we're going to go over the features, specs, benchmarks, and also do a teardown of this laptop. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. Also please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5 laptop, 65 watt power adapter, quick start guide and warranty information. Now let's look at the specs. The laptop is powered by AMD 3rd Gen Ryzen 7 4700U 8-core processor, integrated AMD Radeon graphics, 8GB DDR4 RAM, 15.6-inch Full HD LED IPS display, 256GB NVMe SSD, 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 wireless card, Bluetooth 5.1, built-in 720p webcam with privacy shutter and microphone, also fingerprint reader on power button, Windows 10, and weighs only 3.7 pounds. Now let's look at the ports. On one side we have two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, SD card reader, and a reset button. And on the other side we have one USB-C port with power delivery and display output, HDMI port, headphone and microphone jack combo, and a power input. Lenovo IdeaPad 5 comes with 720p resolution camera with microphone and following is a video quality from the webcam. The camera's picture quality is good enough for video calls. The camera also has a privacy shutter that lets you close the webcam when not in use. Also the laptop has a fingerprint reader on the power button. You can set your IdeaPad to not wake up unless it detects your biometric signature. These security features make IdeaPad 5 the smart choice. Overall, IdeaPad has a design that is simple and clean, and a smooth plastic body hides fingerprints very well. When it comes to upgradability, Lenovo allows you to upgrade some of the components. You can access the laptop motherboard by removing the screws from the back cover. You need to be careful while removing the back cover with the proper tool, but the process is very simple. You can replace the existing NVMe SSD with a bigger or faster drive, and you can add also additional 2.5 form factor SATA hard drive with available hard drive mounting space. But unfortunately, the RAM is not upgradable because memory is soldered to the motherboard and there's no additional sodium slot. So you have to configure the laptop with proper RAM to meet your requirement. But good thing RAM is running in dual channels, so you get good performance benefit. The laptop comes with 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 card, which is currently the fastest Wi-Fi card available in the market. In the CPU cooling department, we have dual heat pipe with heat sink and single fan. You cannot hear the fan noise during general usage but temperature never crossed 70 degrees Celsius during our test, which means cooling is sufficient enough to keep the laptop temperature under control during gaming or CPU intensive workloads. Starting at just 3.7 pounds, the IdeaPad 5 laptop is designed to go wherever life takes you. The laptop offers a clean and modern look, but laptop's built material is all plastic, and it is understandable considering its price point. First impressions from the visual standpoint are good when compared to any other laptop in this price category. There's no flex to the body, and IdeaPad 5 was built with great level of attention to detail. With smooth fabric-like feel on the surface provide great comfort to touch. Now let's look at the specs and features. The display has thin bezels, and our unit came with 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display, and LED backlight provide thinner and more energy efficient screen. The screen needs a little help from other hand when open the lid up. The IdeaPad 5 visuals are handled by integrated AMD Radeon graphics. Watching YouTube or Netflix content looks good and this display works well in low light conditions. As for the brightness, it comes in around 300 nits, which is on the low side means laptop screen is only good for indoor usage. Also viewing angles are okay, not so great for IPS panel. The panel supports 65% sRGB, 50% Adobe RGB, which is also on the low side, but it is understandable considering its price point. The keyboard is good for longer typing experience. The pressure point is good and the feedback of the key is a little bit stiff. On the other hand, the key size and the arrangements are very good. And our unit came with the backlit keyboard. You have to press function key plus spacebar to activate the backlit, and there are two brightness levels. You have to press function key and spacebar twice to get the full brightness. As far as the touchpad is concerned, it is a regular size touchpad and it feels good during general usage and makes a solid clicking sound. In the performance, our IdeaPad 5 is equipped with AMD Ryzen 7 4700U processor. The processor is based on AMD's latest Ryzen 7 nanometer technology with 8 cores and 8 threads with the base clock speed of 2 GHz and maximum clock speed of 4.1 GHz. This processor is used in mainstream and 2-in-1 laptops. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage, office tasks, and gaming. It can also handle very well some more demanding stuff such as video editing. Following is a 4K video file sample at high bitrate, 
and laptop was able to run it flawlessly without any lag or problem. During our video editing test in Adobe Premiere Pro, we were able to load 4K video clips, and while scrubbing around, it was able to handle without any problem, and finish the 4K clip encoding to H.265 format quite fast. Our unit scored 2661 points in Cinebench Multithread CPU Performance Benchmark, running at 2GHz, and comparing it against Intel's Core i9 processor which scored 2652 points in Cinebench. An Intel Core i9 is an 8-core 16-thread processor, usually comes with MacBook Pro which is a $2500 laptop, and AMD beating Intel's top-of-the-line Intel processor is an excellent achievement. And in CPU Z Benchmark laptop CPU scored 3514 points in multithread and 513 points in single thread. And whereas Intel Core i9 achieved 4161 points in multithread and 499 points in single thread, again great performance by AMD. Next in Geekbench CPU Benchmark, AMD Ryzen 7 CPU scored 1,121 points in single core and 5,335 points in multi core, whereas Intel Core i9 scored 1,191 points in single core and 6,971 points in multi core. Also in Geekbench GPU Benchmark, AMD Radeon GPU scored 11,658 points. Next, we ran 3D Mark Skydiver Benchmark and laptop scored 12,856 points in CPU score and 10,450 points in graphics score, with a total score of 10,697 points. In 3D Mark's Graphic Gaming Test 1, integrated AMD Radeon graphics was able to achieve close to 50 frames per second, and in Graphics Test 2 it was able to achieve 46 frames per second, making this laptop a good budget gaming machine. Just don't expect dedicated graphics like performance, but I'm really impressed by the AMD Radeon Vega graphics performance. It is a big upgrade from last gen Vega graphics and provides a decent gaming experience in many of the popular gaming titles. In the story solution, Lenovo IdeaPad 5 offers excellent read and write rates that are average in its class. Our unit scored 2005 megabytes per second read and 1120 megabytes per second write in SSD benchmark thanks to its M.2 256 GB NVMe SSD. The Lenovo IdeaPad comes with 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 card which supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band with a max speed of 2.4 gigabits per second. In the audio, the IdeaPad 5 is equipped with two 20W speakers facing upwards. They get loud enough to fill a medium-sized room, but the sound they output is hollow and lifeless, and following is the audio sample. The IdeaPad 5 stayed exceptionally cool during our testing. The hottest location of the laptop is the underside, reaching 69 degrees Celsius during our CPU-Z stress test. That is well below our 95 degrees Celsius comfort threshold. So great job by Lenovo. In the battery life department, IdeaPad 5 has up to 7 hours of runtime. But Lenovo claims battery should last up to 14 hours of runtime. This is more than enough for students for on-campus projects or taking notes during classes. Laptop comes with 65 watt hour quick charge 2 power adapter and with only 15 minutes of plug-in time can provide up to 3 hours of runtime. And the battery charger is small and light enough to carry around in the backpack. The Lenovo IdeaPad 5 laptop is a great overall performance machine. I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the system. The latest 3rd gen AMD Ryzen processor in particular offers better CPU and GPU performance and destroys Intel counterpart in most of the categories. It is also a great mid-tier gaming machine for casual gamers and powerful enough to handle 4K video editing as well. The Lenovo IdeaPad 5 is an excellent buy for under $550, and our unit price was $520. I would absolutely recommend it for anyone who's in the market for good looking, well built and great overall performance machine. Let me know what you guys think of Lenovo IdeaPad 5 laptop in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.